Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome to another Freestyle Wednesday. In this one, you guys, I'm gonna be talking to my younger friends. Um, I'm gonna be sharing with you one thing, just one thing that I wish my younger self knew. So if you could take Liz here, down 20, 10 years ago, what I would have told that girl. So just to get that out of the gates, one thing I would have told my younger baby self, my cute little baby heart, is <laughs> to never suppress my convictions just to make somebody else feel good and just so I can fit in. Um, so one thing about me is I am a very agreeable person. I don't like drama. I am literally allergic <laughs> to drama. Like literally, the way my personality is set up, drama sees me and runs away. So I really don't like drama. So one thing that tends to do is I just kind of agree, 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 right? And sometimes it chips away at my authenticity because you cannot leave your fullest self, right? If you are not really speaking up, like if you really feel convicted about something or you really feel that this person actually must know this thing, whether the person likes it or not, whether the person likes it or not, you know, they have to know this. So that's something like my future, my younger self will have shied away from because I don't want people to feel uncomfortable. I just don't want drama. I don't, I don't do drama. <laughs> Okay. But one thing now, and fast forward to now, one thing I, I, I'm learning more and more about life, life honestly sort of reminds me of high school, <laughs> okay, literally, reminds me of high school. So I don't know how you guys know the game of high school, you know, the popularity contest and you know, you see the high school, the really popular bad guys, bad girls in high school, just, you know, being popular for nothing other than they're bad. If you can, I don't know how old you guys are watching me are, how old you guys are. But if you can fast forward now in the age of social media, many of you have access to those people and you can see how their life turned out. I mean, not all, because I'm not in the business of generalization, right? But I would say, I, let's just throw it out there. Most of them, you can see how their life turns out. And you see the nerdy ones, the bookworms, the one that, you know, wear the same shirt every single day. They are the, one, they are the CEOs of our time. They're the, they're the inventors, they're the innovators. You know, again, not generalizing. But that goes to show that a lot of things that are popular at a certain season or at a certain time does not really have the future in mind, right? If those people were to fast forward and see what everything would turn out, they will be friends with the geeks, they will be friends with the nerd. You know, they want that kind of partnership because they know, oh, you know, whatever the case is, I don't want to go off that tangent. So right now, um, I'm hoping this video will actually encourage somebody to really stay on the path that they are or to me pretty much start reconsidering the path that they've turned on, the path that they're, they're looking to embark on. I am kind of convicted to tell you guys this, that a lot of you, <laughs> I'm kind of overusing that word, but a lot of you are suppressing your convictions just so you can fit in, just so you can be popular, just so you can get the likes of men, right? One thing I would, again, talk to my future self is to understand that legacy is more important, right? Whatever I'm doing right now might not get a lot of notoriety, a lot of popularity, but it's something that I know that once I'm putting it out there, years from now, like maybe say 90, 100 years from now, when I go, go, you know, when I pass on to be, to be with God, that whatever I'm putting out, or so whatever I've put out in on earth, whatever I have put in the world would help somebody else. That's literally my goal right now in life. That's literally my driving passion. That's literally what burns inside of me. Whether I get one like, whether I get 200 likes, whether I get a million likes, you know, that is something that hits up at me. So right now I'm just gonna encourage somebody out there, my young friends, don't suppress your convictions. It could be the Holy Spirit telling you, hey, type that thing, you know, type that thing. Say, you know, I don't know, Jesus loves you. And then you remember that the last time you typed it, you only got no likes, no shares, <laughs> and you quickly delete it and say, no, no, no. I'm going to type the demon time, only fans, you know, I, I know about these things. I'm not of this world, but I know what they do in this world, okay? So you, you, you kind of gravitate towards things that you know for a fact that people would like, that people would enjoy, that people would gravitate towards while suppressing your convictions. So, I mean, this is just to kind of explain to you that, you know, you should start thinking about all the things that you're putting out in the universe, all the things that you're putting out there. Is it really what you truly believe in? Is that really what you, and if that's what you believe in, that's completely fine, you know, and that's authenticity. If that's where you're at, whatever you're putting out there, if you really can stand by and say, okay, that's what I truly believe in, that's good. But I'm talking here to somebody 
that maybe what you're putting out there does not really reflect your true heart does not really reflect what you truly believe in you know that's something that I would say take a closer look at that is one thing that I'll tell my future self girl you're on the right path I believe so strongly that God will amplify my voice and a lot of people that need to hear this message will hear it because God also has a way just like the devil does his own thing with his own people God has a way of amplifying the voices that he needs for certain generations so I know I just have to follow the instructions be diligent with what God has put inside of me and I'm good same goes to you you know whatever you, you feel convicted to do might not get as much notoriety now but just keep on that path you're doing good girl you're doing good guy thank you so much for sticking to this point in this video and if you think it will bless anybody hey doesn't cost you anything to share you know you can share it you don't you never know who might need this today all right guys i will talk to you in my next one have a lovely amazing fantastic rest of the day bye bye